Welcome, here we are at the John Arbon Textiles Mill Open Weekend, no less, and um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a glimpse of kind of what we've been up to over the last couple days. So if you come with me, we're going to look at some yarn, we're going to meet all the mill folk, we're going to meet our lovely vendors, and yeah, generally have a look around, have a chat, and see who's helped us make all of this wonderfulness happen and um, yeah, the virtually inhale the yarn fumes. Come with me and I'll show you around. We've got our Yarnadelic base and uh, the three special colours that got created uh, were made by John. Well, one of them was made by me. One of them. One was made by Jack and one was made by Laura. That's right, and I believe this one was uh, yours. That's mine, and that's uh, it's Corydale, dyed Corydale blended, and my inspiration for that was a song because this is Yarnadelic range and everything. It's a song, and I love anybody knows me anything blue and turquoise. So I went for We Love You by the Psychedelic First, which uh, as a teenager, I love that tune. I love this colour. We love you. Perfect. Makes total sense to me. Absolutely. So there we go. Check yeah. it out if you don't know it. I love it. We are loving this colour. We're loving so that colour. We, we love you. <laughs> there it is. And, and go on in got... next up, Jax. Yeah. Which, which is, is this one? His inspiration for this is a tune called Soul Drums by a very good soul drummer called Bernard Purdy. Never heard of him, check him out. He was an awesome drummer. Jack, I'll Jack's, have a look. Yeah. Jack's a drummer and he likes to drum and he likes and really appreciates really good drumming. So that's why Jack chose that. I mean, these are all song-based type things. Yeah, he said the album cover has this sort of color on it, so. There you go, that's you where go. he's picking it out from, good old Jack. And then what we got here? We finally got Confide in Me, created by Laura Davis. Yeah. And that is, I believe, a Kylie Minogue song. Well, I'm off now. <laughs> <laughs> and this combination... As you can tell, I'm the yeah. world's biggest Kylie Minogue fan. <laughs> no. We'll yeah, move on to... swiftly. She's all right. She's all right. The three and colours work really yes. beautifully together. Yes, it does. I do. I love the colour. I don't like the song, yeah. but I love the colour. <laughs> might not know this but I'm from Norway and uh, cider in Norway is completely different to cider here it's a very sweet drink and when I first tried a cider in the UK I got such a shock of this horrible tasting drink um, I kind of got used to it now I'm not uh, I'm not offended by a cider but uh, uh, if what's talking about cider look at these uh, so Martha and Tash they created these gorgeous colours. Um, I think they even went to the pub whilst they created them. Um, so it's all named after ciders. Uh, we have Oaken Pin, um, which is um, like a rainbow colour. It's got all the colours in it and it's absolutely stunning. Um, then we have this beautiful pink, Sugar Bush. Um, it's such a bright, fun pink, absolutely gorgeous. And finally, we have Sour Bay. Um, and this has been such a firm favorite with you all already. So I look forward to seeing what you make with these. We were 
were talking to Phil about the beautiful colours that he created with Daisy um, on our Devonia base and I am back here at the showroom and I wanted to actually show you the colours. So here we have Beetle's Wing, beautiful grey kind of colour but when you get close it's got such little shades of pinks and purples running through it that's a really pretty colour and it goes so nicely with the actual pinks and purples. And these ones are Willow Herb, and then we have Wild Damson. Um, and they create this beautiful trio, and the cowl that we had knitted up in these is absolutely stunning. So I look forward to seeing what you create with them. our Harvest Hues specials um, and they were created by Donna and Jeanette who works in Packingland and ships all the orders out to you guys and they've created these three beautiful colours all inspired by moths. Our knitters we don't like moths <laughs> but if they create beautiful colours like this I'm all in. We have Blue Morpho, this gorgeous navy and then we've got Luna, a fantastic green, very vibrant, lots of different colours have gone into the mix of it, so it's got nice speckle. And then we have Hawk Moth, um, which is a gorgeous neutral, again with little, almost like little bits of yellow in it, and uh, I think I need to check out the top to see what's gone in it. All gorgeous, and they all work fantastic together. And Carrie has been helping me out with all the marketing and all the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, all those <laughs> secret things that happen. <laughs> it's a planning. Exactly. <laughs> and you've been helping no end with all of the virtual open weekend stuff, haven't you? Yeah, we've got lots of exciting things in store. Definitely. And the in person one, of course. Yeah. For, yeah. And for anyone, you might look a bit familiar to people as well, Carrie. I've been around on the yarn scene for a few years. Yeah. I used to do a lot of the yarn shows when I was one half of Pearl Alpaca Design. Um, and then I've been freelancing as a pattern writer for the last six years. So, yeah. You know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Done it for a while. <laughs> now I get to familiarize myself with the lovely John Arvin yarns. So yeah. It's great fun. Well, we're just so lucky to have you. I mean, it's been such a treat so far. <laughs> And, you know, yeah. it still feels like early days, so yeah. we're getting, getting stuck in. Definitely. And speaking of getting stuck in, I think it was maybe one of your first couple of weeks. I was like, so we're having an open weekend and we need a special pattern and you're a designer. <laughs> so yeah, I got so, right to it and uh, yeah. created a special pattern for the special year. Yeah. Definitely. And it's called the Pick and Mix Cowl, doesn't it? Yeah, Pick and Mix Cowl, and it uses three different colours because all the specials have three different uh, Yeah, <laughs> three different shades. Yep. Definitely. Um, and I've created this design so that you can pick and mix as you uh, as you like and create your own design almost. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. We had so many samples made and everyone's sample is a little bit different. So yeah, yeah so when we had these knitted up, we kind of gave the knitters free range to uh, to create what they wanted and, and you knitted this one. I made that one, I did. That one's in apple door lace. Yeah. That was I didn't do a swatch, so mine is much wider than it should be. <laughs> Lessons there for everyone. <laughs> well, that's also a feature in the pattern that you can change it if you want a wider yeah. one. You can see it that way. 
Yeah. No, it's nice and customizable. You've really just kind of given people like more like a sort of recipe, isn't it? Exactly. It's, yeah. it's a tool to, yeah. to design um, design your own house, more or less. Definitely. And which one is that? This one is Apple Door DK. Okay. See, but also in the pattern, uh, you've got instructions for how to use lots of different yarns. Really. Yeah. Apple Door, Devonia, yeah. Harvest Hughes, and Yarnadelic, yeah. all in the one pattern. Yeah. yeah. I have Apple Door and this one is seeing how all the different colours play together. Yeah, exactly. Wow, well. that's beautiful, isn't it? So little people are so lovely. That was more or less the starting point of this design. Yeah. I was like, I just want to have little people on it. <laughs> Holding hands. <laughs> it's like a unity thing. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think that's quite good for us because I think we're always trying to like make it feel like a community and make exactly. it feel like more than just a ball of wool because that's how it feels to us yeah. so yeah. the little people definitely kind of represent that perfectly exactly. I think. Yeah. and then the last sample we've got here is the Harvest Hughes Special yeah. and this one I knitted yeah. Oh, yeah. I really like these colours they especially the green and blue work really nicely as stripes yeah they're beautiful and I love the, the Harvest Hughes it's quite a sort of gentle yarn, so you have all that texture still, but it's kind of muted down a little bit in a lovely way, isn't it? It's nice seeing the different kind of the way that the same design comes up in each different phase. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. And at the virtual open weekend, I think we're going to have a chat about the cow yeah, in more detail. Plan. So we'll go through um, how you do your tension square, how you measure up the tension and then calculate um, how many stitches you want to cast on, if you want to customise it a little bit. Um, and then we can talk about how to put the patterns together and, and maybe a little bit about what colours you can choose and yeah. how to choose them. Definitely. No, it'll be nice. I'm yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> and you'll be... Um, doing quite a lot of the, you'll be helping me kind of manage the Zooms as well, won't That's you, over the weekend, so, and um, actually over this weekend, it's funny, people keep asking me what's happening for the virtual open weekend, and I just keep saying, well, oh, Carrie knows. <laughs> so I have, I've made a schedule, it's all, it's all written down and it's being shared very yeah. soon. So, Very soon. Um, we're, uh, we've got a really exciting list of people yeah. joining us. Um, we've got Melanie Berg, who's doing a virtual launch party with mm. us for her new design. Um, it's called Free Song. Yeah, the beautiful jumper. It is gorgeous. Yeah, and it uses, it uses Harvest Hughes. Mm. Um, and um, we've got a few samples to show. Um, We'll talk about how to put colours together for it, um, and Melanie will talk about her design process. Yeah, it'll be a really interesting. I'm chat really, tech. I'm really looking forward to that one. I mean, it, you know, she's made so many glorious designs that sort of getting to see like what it is that inspires her and hearing a bit about her design process yeah. is such a treat. Yeah. Won't it? No, I really look forward to that one. Yeah. And then we also got a talk on visible mending, Ooh. which might be something that a lot of people find useful. Yeah. You get the wear and tear, the little holes popping up when you run it wear. It's so good to know how to fix it. So Sarah Elwick will be joining us, um, and she has a background in textiles, and yeah. she's now specialising in visible mending. Yeah. Um, so she she'll show us a lot of her own mends and also some of her favourites from other people. Yeah. Um, and then she'll talk through some techniques with us. Yeah, yeah there's going to be a bit of a tutorial, I think, as well. Yeah. That's the plan. She's used our new Apple Door lace, I think, hasn't she, to make some, make some, I guess, do you think she puts the holes in if there's a tutorial, or <laughs> imagine going around cutting holes in your knitwear to be able to make them. That feels a bit dramatic. <laughs> we shall wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to ask. <laughs> and so Faye will be talking about her love of crochet um, and she'll be talking about crochet through history as well, oh, which will be really, really exciting. That sounds very good. Um, and also how to use crochet in a contemporary context. Um, but Faye can tell us more about what she's doing later. Yeah, we'll grab her. I'll yeah. grab her. I'll grab her. Pin her down. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also got a really exciting class on botanical dyeing. Um, so Julia Billings, uh, you might know her as Woolen. 
she'll join us um, and talk about how she forages for plants and, and leaves and weeds yeah. and creates beautiful colours out yeah. of them. That, her work is so... It really echoes, like, her, she does all these, like, very soothing kind of neutrals and pastels. And then if you meet Julia Jules, you're like, oh, I understand why, because she's just got this energy about her, doesn't she? She's, like, very chill. Just, yeah, she's a lovely lady, so that'll be great. Yeah, we're, we're really exciting. She's doing two of them, so she'll be showing us how she does it and also talking about, uh, about her process. Yeah. And I think Jules dies on our Devonia base, um, but we've sent her lots of mini skeins, so you'll get to see how a, quite a lot of our different bases die up using natural uh, dyes. Exactly. And some of them aren't just white, they have a bit of uh, all brown piece yeah. or black piece in them as well, so it would be interesting to see how the colours differ from, yeah. from the base. It sounds like a bumper weekend. We've got have we got a couple others as well. We've got there's also Amanda. Hunter. We've got some spinning too. Yeah, Can't forget about the fluff. Oh, for sure. That's a big part of what we do. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, definitely. So she'll be doing two classes actually. We've got a beginner's class. Perfect for anyone thinking of starting to spin. Yeah, so I've never spun before, yeah. so I'm, I'm excited about that one. Yeah, yeah. I'll see if it grabs my attention. Yeah. I'm new enough that like I definitely think beginner spinning is what I need. <laughs> Just to check I'm doing it right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then for those of you who already know how to spin, we also got a class on a more fancy yarn. She'll be showing and demonstrating a few more more advanced techniques. Yeah. And that is is going to be um, a version of the class Amanda's actually been teaching this weekend at the in-person yeah. weekend. So I know there were quite a lot of you who emailed to say you wanted to be on the class and we didn't record it but we're doing the next best thing which is you know she'll be doing oh, well I guess maybe it's better because it'll actually be live so and the, yeah. and also the, the good thing about all of these online talks and demos is that we are going to record them and we'll put them up on YouTube afterwards so even if you can't join us at the actual weekend um, you'll be able to access them later so that's yeah. great in the same way you're watching this <laughs> they'll just appear <laughs> next door <Exactly. laughs> perfect wonderful and then I think we're doing a little bit um, of course we had to we had to come and talk to you as well so we're doing a couple other I think Helena and Laura are doing some sort of mill Q&A yeah. and then I managed to pin John and Juliet down, you never know, so yeah, so make sure you've got your questions ready. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know about the spinning process yeah. and, the, and how the mill works? Let us know. Definitely. So it, it should be a real kind of action-packed weekend. I am sure that folks will be seeing much more of you on the vlog in the oh, coming you'll be bored uh, of in no time. <laughs> <laughs> like the bored of me. I'll, I'll just break up all the bored of me. That'll be good. Anyone who isn't aware, Bay is um, Provenance Craft Co. and also the Crochet Circle podcast and also Bay DH Designs. So yep. you are a, a woman who wears many hats. Many, many hats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Multi, multi crafter yeah. and like to keep busy. Yeah, yep. definitely. And you are a kind of, you know, not in house, but basically crochet extraordinaire. Yeah, I think pretty much all of our crochet patterns on the website um, come out of your brain. My brain and Rosina's as well. Yes, so and Rosina's. And Rosina's. Yep. Yeah. We've managed to rope you into bending at the open weekend again, Faye. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love coming here. It's lots of fun, and I get to spend time with all of you, and I get to stay at 
what is in front of me is just it, yeah. brilliant. It's quite dangerous standing uh-huh, over here, actually, because you can sort of take the whole display yeah. in at once. And it's all my colours, yeah. so it's, yeah, it's beautiful. This is why Katie had to buy so much yarn, because she was just staring at it the whole Me time. too. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got more. <laughs> I have to say, I my I've been quite. Re- I think I've just been too busy to shop, really. But my my one purchase has been an incredible pattern book of yep. your stand, knit and crochet yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I sold loads of books this weekend. I think because people want to go through them and look through them, mm. um, which you can't really do as an online affair. Yeah, so if it's if it's a stitch dictionary, you do want to see what the stitches are before just like randomly buy try before you you buy 100 percent yeah no it's just been a nice weekend hasn't it it's been wonderful i'm like i'm a bit nosy so i'm always asking customers are you enjoying yourself are you having fun have you been on the mill tour and like the overwhelming feedback is that they love how relaxed it all is they love being with all of your team and that they just get to sit and take all in. And there have been so many people that have been here all weekend long. They have actually. Friday, they Saturday, really Sunday. Sunday. And then by the time they're leaving, they're like <laughs> hugging and like <laughs> new friendships have been formed. It's been yeah. absolutely wonderful. No, it has been a treat, hasn't it? Definitely. You are going to make me, you always make me blush though. It's like saying too many nice things. Well, it's true. People <laughs> like, um, your customer base really understand what you're doing here and the provenance of what you're doing and how genuinely lovely the team is and how much you want to be working at your Do you have to stop? We have to talk Sorry. about you a little bit. Nah. <laughs> because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I'll just curl up into a little ball of egg. <laughs> a little ball of egg. <laughs> so what have you you've brought? Um, so when you're being provenance craft coach, yeah. you actually... Um, did a presentation at the virtual open weekend last year, did. didn't you? Yeah. And you sell these like beautiful um, like notions and kind of crafting accessories as well as the books, don't you? Yeah, I like to know where all of my stock has come from, whether that's China, Devon, in my local county of Cheshire, I like to know what the touch points are. And in particular, I really love creating some of the goods myself and it might be that I'm not manufacturing at all but I've designed it and chosen the materials and I worked with various people and it's really interesting coming to a show like this because you get to see what people are reacting to yes and by and large what people want to buy from me are the bits that have come out of my brain where I've sourced it all and maybe got other people together or made it myself like some of the ceramics and that's, that's great that, like, that really tops you up as a creative as a maker yeah you can't you can't really buy that energy that it gives you so yeah. it's really lovely i think that's the thing that i love about seeing people in person as well it's just you really i mean we try our best to like create that human connection on the internet but sometimes it's nice getting it in real life yeah as well. yeah but then you know the fact that you're doing something like the virtual yeah. weekend as well really for people that are further afield or for whatever reason they can't travel, they love yeah. that virtual element Definitely. too. Well, and it just like, the people are the fun thing, yeah. so it makes my job more fun if I get to chat to people. Yeah. And you're one of the people at the virtual. Carrie's told us the other exciting vendors, but yeah. I thought we could pick your brains a little bit, being yeah. as you will, you will be there too. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a talk as part of the virtual mill weekend and I'm predominantly a crocheter and a crochet designer, but I also do knitwear. I love starting with crochet, mm. and it's got a bit of a barrier. People have lots of urban myths around crochet, so my talk is about crocheting beyond the granny square. And I'll also be talking about some of the urban myths around crochet, and hopefully given like a load of helpful resources, like how to crochet. Oh, she's got some yarn. Like variegated yarn without getting colour pooling, working out which stitches will work best, whether it's like a half treble, a treble, or just giving you some hints and tips to make your crochet really zing and pop and be beautiful. And um, yeah, just push crochet forward for the gorgeous, beautiful craft that it is, really. 
can't wait. Yeah, me too. I need to go write it. <laughs> I need to go write my talk and do all the prep yeah. work. And then the other thing that you've done is you've made all these yeah. little name badges for us. So you you have a laser printer? Is it a yeah, laser printer? a laser cutter. And laser then I can cutter. do lots of little bits and pieces in it, which yeah. I love. really love. Little mm. one-off bits. Sometimes I do more. <laughs> this is really sad. But I print myself off motivational little signs when I feel a bit down and I've got them all around my office. <laughs> my favourite one says future fane, it's basically do the work now <laughs> because you will thank yourself in the future. I mean, it's quite handy having a laser cutter <laughs> when you're a team of one. Do with one of those. <laughs> yeah, just talk to yourself. Yeah, laser on. cut yourself another, <laughs> a new fane. That's what I do. <laughs> Sounds good. I could do with that. <laughs> it's alright. I'll cheer lead you. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much for coming, and thanks for being a part of the virtual one as well. Oh, I love it. Always a treat. Yep, I have absolutely the fact that I'm losing my voice tells yeah. you all you need to know. I've chatted to customers all weekend long, chatted to the, the team here at John Urban, and I just, yeah, I would um, I would drop everything and come and help you all if you needed it. I just love what you do. Very, oh, very thank supportive. See, you. you're off again. I'm going to stop oh, you sorry, there before done. I can't we'll handle it. Club. <laughs> <laughs> Funny speaking on a camera, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm kind of used to it, but also I yeah. don't. I normally talk to the camera yeah. or to my dog. Yeah, I mostly make you and I. Okay. For anyone watching, we're actually quite good friends in real life. <laughs> Not that this isn't real life. <laughs> we don't tend to film our conversations. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, there were just about five minutes of giggling. <laughs> So we're doing a bit better now. I don't know. Well, Bex is recording it anyway. Thank so you. We're going to power through the giggling. Um, thank you for coming to my open week, to our open weekend. It has been a delight. I've had a lovely time. It's so nice to be out in the world again and yeah. chat to Yarny people. Definitely. Definitely. No, it's been fab, hasn't it? Lovely, and I may have got some yarn and Dicky. fiber and up there on that shelf. A couple of things you were just showing me before we started. They're not. I was going to say they're not all green. I'm just they're all kind of green. I mean, one of them could be mustard, but <laughs> mustard is a bit like green. So, so that's branching out. Yeah? I'm not wearing anything green today, unless mustard is green, in which case. I say that's like a shark freeze. Yeah, it is on the, the green side of the green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing that I was doing before we started recording is showing Katie my new shawl. Oh, yes, baby hands. I know. Shawl. I would quite like to take this home oh, with me, actually. Oh, 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 oh. So, there it goes. <laughs> it's very Katie colours. It's lovely, isn't it? I feel like Sonia and I have been kind of learning to spin we have together. we've been learning it's to spin lovely. together haven't we for the last like since january i guess we are get cold otherwise <laughs> um but yeah so this is um it's my design it's called pothos but um the dark is our Exmoor's Warples, so it's half a John Arkell project, so I'm allowed to talk about it. And then the colourful, amazing rainbow colourful bit is my first usable hat sponge, so... Is it the one that you got that one? It is, it's my Wonder Wolf. So it didn't even hang around for that long. This is very, I love the kind of earthy, greeny, browny, bluey. That's down to Helena. I was going to go with the pale Warples. And Helena was like, no, you need the black because otherwise it'll be quite bright and colourful and then you won't want to wear it. And Helena was right because now it is like a dreamy, moody thing of deliciousness. <laughs> and you said you've got some fibre as well. I have lots of fibre. Is all the fibre green or is some of that different colours? None of the fibre is green. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. Well, it's actually your fault because I got some of the male open weekend specials. And none of them are green. So, um, you're going to tell uh, me. Some of them are a bit, they're a bit green, but they're not. 
they're not really green, so I had to buy something else. <laughs> oh. And I'm not wearing anything hand knitted because you've got socks on, That's true. but people can't see I, them. I, I, no, no, I can't show you my socks. But it's really warm in here. It's been it is quite warm. Yeah. Lovely. There's these beautiful skylights in the ceiling, so the light is lovely, but it does mean it's quite hot. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, I've just realised I haven't actually done a very good job of introducing Katie. <laughs> Shall I introduce um, myself? Yeah, please introduce yourself. <laughs> At the end of the interview, I'm Katie, also known as Katie Greenbean. I am an illustrator and knit designer, and I'm based in Devon, so I'm. Local to John Arbor, although it's like an hour and a half. Nowhere is close in Devon, really. It's true. Um, and I love working with these guys, yarn and fibres, and that's yeah. yeah. And Sonia and I, as we discussed, are friends in real life. Real life. <laughs> Whatever that means. No jokes. No. Um, but we try and get you to illustrate things for us a lot as oh, well. Yes, I did the illustration. And sometimes, and sometimes you say and they no, but sometimes you say yes, and then we're very pleased. <laughs> I did the through the mill badges for this weekend, which yeah. were fun. Let me just try and extract. So this is a special bag. For people that, who've been through the mill. They're only at the mill. Um, so you, I had to, I had to bring you one over. Because... I had to bring you a special one over. <laughs> I've been through the mill previously. Yeah. In more senses than one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Thanks <laughs> for <laughs> 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 Yeah. Is that a right thing? An all-rounder. <laughs> all-rounder, that's An it. An all-rounder. <laughs> that sounds better. Yeah. Someone with many, many talents. Many talents, yeah. So yes. you do Piglet, Piglet, and... Gino, Boyd, yeah. Gillian. Mostly upstairs production. And a bit of orders, You've yeah. been known to pack a parcel. I have been known to pack a parcel. Not for a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a while, but yes. Yeah. You've managed to get out of that one now, I have, haven't you? Yeah. Since Piglet turned up, yeah. you're like... Ooh. I'm glued to Piglet these days. <laughs> Piglet's lovely. Yeah. And we love Piglet. How yeah. long have you been here? You've been here longer than I longer have. Longer than you. It must be five years. Same yeah. as Helena, so five yeah. years, yeah. Yeah. And you haven't left yet, so it can't no. be that bad. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> And then Donna, you're you're one of our newest, new but one. I can't even imagine you not being there Aww. anymore. You've made yourself incredibly <laughs> indispensable. indispensable. Yeah, part of the furniture. If now ask Donna, Donna. yes, okay. no, Donna no. actually runs the mill. The <laughs> I rest do of it. us just it's my mill. It's my mill. I do everything. Yeah, no, I'm doing. I pick your I pick your orders and look after all your emails and talk to you on yeah. the phone. Definitely, um, you do manage like. Yeah, if I let her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> when I'm on holiday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But you're sort of in charge of like all the website, like retail, yes. kind yeah. of packing, all, all of that bit. Definitely. Keeping and everyone. And the stock, and very the stock. important. Organised all the stock yeah. for here. Yeah. Yeah. So vital, Donna vital. helped. You helped make the open week. You were very crucial with the open weekend. <laughs> Decided how many of everything yes, to bring, do it all. made sure it happened. Sorted all the tops. Yeah. 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 Weighed all the tops. Many so spreadsheets. Okay. Lots and lots of oh, spreadsheet queen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we've got lots of yeah. lovely, some of our nice yarns yeah. that we made as that's well. That's the exciting, that's the These real are exciting Our thing. colours, very different. That's what yeah. you know. They are like oh, almost God. complete opposite. They are. <laughs> Shall I go I'm, grab? I'm oh, going. Tash will go grab those. So you've done God. the harvest. We've years. done the harvest. You and Jeanette. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You? yeah, Jeanette and I did so these. Very and we're not nice. going to meet Jeanette because Jeanette's a little bit shy. But yes. uh, yeah. you can describe them for us instead. Right. We went for moth colours. So mm. we've got Luna, Hawk Moth, and a Blue Morpho. So, and we love the harvest hues colours. They're nice jewel colours. These are lovely. That's very bright. You like a bluey teal. I like a bluey teal. You? you can't go wrong with a bluey teal. But you love this one, don't you? That's my favourite. That's your favourite. So interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very wearable. I think color. that's Jeanette's favourite as well. It is. Yeah, that's Jeanette's colour. Yeah. Jeanette did that one. But they, yeah, I love those. 
Got to have a navy. Yeah. And then you have Tashi's incredibly bright colours. Yes, a little bit of a contrast. Bit of contrast. Polar opposites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, um, me and little Martha, who you might meet later. I think, yeah. Maybe. Martha's at yeah. the mill. They met Martha She's at the mill. Oh, they met Martha at the mill. Ah, cool, cool. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we, we took, um, took her stuff to the pub and um, mixed these crazy colours. We both love colour, so um, yeah, we wanted to go bright and bold. And that's why you picked Appledore, right? And that's why I picked Appledore, because the base colours are so vibrant, so yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what are your ones called? Uh, Sugar Bush, Sour Bay, and Oaken Pip. Pin. 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 Oaken Pin. <laughs> We're still learning the names. This is actually the first time we've sort yeah. of got the yarn out yeah, properly and had yeah. it labelled. So. But it's very it's exciting. Yeah. yeah, it was super fun. It yeah. was, it's great. Definitely. Want to do more now? Make we'll more have colours. to do it again. Yeah. I think both of yours look so nice on the shelf. Like at the open week over the last couple of days, I've really yeah, been admiring the way oh, they really? both work on the shelf. So it's nice, isn't it? They we'll fit really well. They are amazing. amazing. And people seem to have been loving them as well. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. They're really popular. No, for sure. And we hope you at home like yeah, them yeah. too. Yeah. We just <laughs> sadly can't be here. But yes. One day, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Good to see everyone. Yeah. But have you had a nice open weekend? We've had a lovely weekend. Yeah, it's been a really nice meeting everybody. It's Definitely. been really good. It's nice so to get back out here. there again. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, bloody hell, thanks all for all your hard work. Thank and you. No, we've had a lovely yeah, time. It's we've been enjoyed lovely. it. Yeah, it's been lovely. Very enjoyable. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to do the next We've one. We've got to put it all in boxes tomorrow. Yeah, then. That's, that's the fun, fun bit. Not the fun part. Need to get someone else to do that bit, don't we? Well, I'll leave you both to it and go find someone else. Not the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> it always is nice to be here. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't know, Rachel is daughter of a shepherd, aren't you? I am indeed. <laughs> and have you been going for six years now? I remember yeah. your five year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, six so. years. Yeah. yeah. So it's well, it's kind of seven uh, since yeah. I started thinking about it. Yeah. Six years. It takes a long time to make a batch of yarn. It, it does. does take about <laughs> 12 months quite often. So. Um, but you make all this gorgeous um, kind of Hebridean. Yes, most that's right. Isn't Hebrid it? Yeah, it's usually based on Hebridean fibre, and then yeah. seeing what we can do with with that and how far we can take yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And we spin some of it for you. You do indeed. Yeah. You spin my heritage yeah. and my broom. Yeah, yeah. And the new sock yarn. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It's an very kind exciting, <laughs> very exciting the sock yarn. Yeah, I'm really excited about yeah. it, so can't wait. Hopefully, hopefully you'll get a delivery soon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, get that in the shop. Definitely, definitely. And um, you've got beautiful blankets, and you've got books as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm an old bookseller, so um, when I started the business, um, I can't remember which book I started with. Oh, there were some really nice books, some old books about shepherding. Mm. Um, but, and I was like, oh, maybe I can add these into the shop because people, my dad's a shepherd and my daughter is a shepherd. And it was quite a nice way to bring the books in. And the books are gradually getting expanding. <laughs> As things do. Once As you start collecting do. stuff, it always expands. We were talking for that about that at dinner, weren't we, yesterday? Yeah, <laughs> collections. When does a collection actually yeah. become a hoard? It's, it's a very fine line. It's a fine line sometimes. <laughs> I'm sure everyone at home can empathise with that as well. Oh, but yarn doesn't count. No. It doesn't count. No. <laughs> or fiber. I think the thing that I always really admire with what you do is it's got this real like um, like a sort of very clear path from like growing and producing to the kind of finished product and it always feels like you're really kind of honoring and valuing the people that make things. Oh absolutely. Like there's a lot about yeah. kind of growing 
and then also yeah you know like just really honoring like the human element and then the like tradition of it as well it all feels very rooted in you know the UK and the textiles history and farming history yeah and it's just sort of trying to keep the old crafts alive mm. this so many things have vanished and so many mills have vanished yeah. and if we don't hand on to the next generation yeah. we will lose the skills so yeah. it's it's good to be able to support that yeah. and keep that going so as much as it is about the yarn it's also very much about paying shepherds more for their wool yeah. encouraging them to produce better fleeces yeah. um, and then supporting smaller smaller businesses that have staff that they look after as well yeah. so Definitely. I think that's why we always enjoy working with you, oh, is it's like a real common ground on that, yeah, isn't uh, it? Yeah, you know? yeah it's, it's a good fit. Definitely. Definitely. I feel Definitely. Quite, quite honoured that you've been it. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, likewise. Um, yeah, and it's been lovely having you down with us this weekend. I think my favourite thing has been rummaging about on your samples rack. Ah. That's one of the nicest things about any yarn show, isn't it? Yeah. It's like seeing things actually worked yeah. up. Yeah, and I think this is like, with lockdown, mm. I think it's the first time the samples have been out for, is it? Yeah, for probably for like two and a half years. Yeah. And it was so nice to get them out again and go yeah. through. Like, oh yeah, I remember this. This is lovely. And, <laughs> I know. Yeah, and then obviously to retrieve the ones that we've been wearing. Yeah. <laughs> and see if they're still Give them a little bit of a clean up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's been great. It's been such a lovely weekend. Oh, good. Well, thanks for chatting with us, Rachel. You're welcome. <laughs> so one of the really special treats at the open weekend is that we've got some gorgeous hand-dyed yarn here for everyone's perusal. Um, I don't actually talk about it that much on the vlog, but we do also sell yarn for hand dyers, don't we, Hells? Yes, we do. And this is entirely your department, so I shall hand it over to you, but it's been so nice seeing what people do on our bases. Yes, we get very excited by these things. I even occasionally knit some. Yeah, you do. You had that one in the last vlog. I did, yes. Uh, so yes, we offer our Appledore, Devonia, and Exmoor sock bases for people to dye on. And we have invited some of the dyers that we have to uh, bring some along for us to have on the stand. Um, this stuff here has come all the way from Germany. This is Exmoor sock, the lovely Elka. Uh, she does some very beautiful colours and we're very excited to have this because she doesn't sell it in the UK. No. So we were very excited. Um, yes, and we also have a few skeins from Lola of Third Bolt Yarns. There also aren't many of those shop. left, are there? People that there's been a lot of love for that. Left. <laughs> um, so we so. should just take them away? Well, I already did. <laughs> I, I may have stolen some beforehand and made a pair of socks. Quite right too. Yes. Just for so we have some samples. But yes, lovely, <laughs> lovely Lola. Um, but uh, yes, Lola has dyed dyes more more sock, so we have some of that here as well. And we also have some more Exmoor sock uh, shadow at Felt Fusion, who does all the crazy stripes. Yeah. Which they've also been going really well. They have. They're very, very popular. I bought some of this. Then on the Devonia, we've got more stripes. These are beautiful, aren't yeah. they? These ones, and also these are naturally dyed. So these ones are Alice from Wool Matters, who's based up around Bristol. And these ones are Sinead from Gold Rock Fibers, who is a bit further south. Devon um, Lass, just like us. Yes. So she's done a load of mini skein bundles. Some of them are on Apple Door. We also have the Apple Door ones as well as Devonia. And then also on Devonia we have Telling Yarns. So this is the, what the jumper is in, which is why we have these from mm. Beth. And these are Devonia 4-ply. And Rivenix, who you have seen on our blog before. Yeah. We've got some of their Lynn DK, which is actually Devonia DK. So, yeah. Lots of different ones. But yes, we really love seeing what everybody does. And as you can see, all sorts of different colours and different styles. And yeah. yeah. 
been great. Yeah, we, a lovely um, time looking at it. We're quite Fine restrained with our own yarn, but when these boxes were all arriving at the mill over the last couple of weeks, we uh, we had some trouble, didn't we, Helena? Sonia stole one of these. Ones. I did, I did. And what have you stolen? I saw, stole this. Um, and I'm eyeing up some more of this one. Yeah. yeah. I already have a lot of this one. Yeah. And quite a lot of this. It is absolutely gorgeous. So there's a fair bit that never even made it to the show. Bonus of working here, you get first dips. <laughs> yes, everyone else who works here has also been through and had we had a little bit because we get very excited to see what other people do with our yarn. Yeah, we love it. Definitely. And we will have um, all these beautiful hand dyers will be up on the website for you to go and browse their websites and we might even have a couple skeins ourselves at the virtual open weekend in a couple of weeks time so we're hoping you'll find a, a new dyer or two to add to your admiring <laughs> I hope you enjoyed looking around. I've now got a glass of Prosecco, so it's time to me to go put my feet up somewhere. It's been a lovely few days, but a blimey long few days. Come Helena, I was gonna do it by myself, but look, here's double trouble now. <laughs> not trouble. Um, not trouble, no, never trouble, never trouble. Thank you so much for joining us and looking around and our virtual open weekends just in a couple of weeks so we hope you'll join us for that have a little look um, in the thing at the bottom <laughs> and cheers, cheers. Oh, <laughs>